Hello everyone. So Untitled Boxing Game updated, and as you can see on the video right now, they added in new emotes. But that's not the only thing they added, this update has added in many other stuff. Which I will talk about before showcasing all the emotes. Anyways, with this update, we also got more information about future updates. Let's talk about that first actually. The first announcement is that the next batch of styles are coming soon. These styles will be on the rare and uncommon rarity, and that there will only be a few Hajime no Ipo styles left before Untitled Boxing Game moves on to the next boxing franchise. Don't worry though. I don't really think that they will stop making Hajime no Ipo styles altogether after these last few styles, they are just merely taking a break from Hajime no Ipo styles for now. The next announcement is. The addition of guilds or gyms are currently being worked on, so guilds and gym will be also coming soon. So I suggest saving up your money in case guild upgrades will cost money. And there is also a statement regarding ranked version 2 being a thing, but he's working on something big in the background alongside it. Which I am very hyped up for. If this is about that server authoritative movement thing he mentioned about which uses rollback network and yada yada. It's okay if you don't understand what I'm saying right now, because when I first read it as well, I didn't understand anything. Which I still think I don't. I'm just gonna summarize what it means, if this server authoritative movement thing works, the game's ping and combat will feel a lot smoother and there hopefully won't be any more ping related issues. And with that addition, ranked version 2 is a possibility. The next announcement is the addition of secret styles, and harder quests. There was not any information given about it, but that's something I will definitely be keeping an eye on. Since secret styles is such a cool concept. For all I care, I wonder what those secret styles will be. And that's pretty much all the information I have for the upcoming updates, let's talk about the new update now. The new stuff that got added are a new set of emotes and new limited quests. Let's talk about the new limited quests first. Have you ever wanted a style slot, but you know, your luck is very bad and you can't get lucky on the spins you get after a match. Well, these new limited quests has rewards which can give you a free style slot. And that's not even everything, you can also get instant max pity, emote spins, emote slots and more. So free players can actually get a lot of stuff from these new limited quests. Which I am very thankful for, I already know a lot of players are gonna appreciate this. These limited quests are pretty easy, so it's not that hard to finish these honestly. So if you have the time, complete these, since they are limited after all. Next up are the new balance changes. These balance changes are very game changing, depending on the style you're using. But these 4 styles got some pretty insane changes. First off, Ghost got a huge nerf, his Ghost Jab ability now has a longer cooldown, and hitting a blocking opponent with the Ghost Jab now leaves you vulnerable, making it easier to punish the Ghost Jab. And Ghost does less chip damage now. So the Ghost style got nerfed pretty bad, but I won't say that's it's bad, it's still pretty good. Next up is Epo. Epo got a nerf, which I think we all kind of expected, this nerf is also pretty bad. His M1 damage now has lesser damage, and his ultimate, his Dempsey roll, now only deals 55% instead of 65%. This is very bad for Epo, but same as Ghost. It's not that bad, it's at least balanced now. Next his Iron Fist, oh boy. You won't believe what happened to it. Iron Fist also got nerfed, although its nerf is not as bad as Epo's and Ghost's. I'd still think it's pretty bad, Iron Fist did not get any damage nerf or anything, but he did get worse dashes. How bad are these dashes you ask? Iron Fist now has the same dashes as Turtle. Do what you will with that information, but I honestly think that's a very, very, very bad nerf. I won't even say if it's good or bad now, I'll leave that to you guys if you think it's good or bad. And lastly Hawk. Hawk is the only style here that got a buff. His buff is actually pretty insane because he got a boost in guard damage, so Hawk can now break block. While having anti-heal M1s. Hawk is about to go crazy. I'll be showcasing every single style here on a separate video on their own. But for now, that's pretty much everything for the balancing part. No other styles got changed so if your style is not listed here. Then it should still work pretty much the same. Ok one last thing before we move on to the new emotes. The miscellaneous additions. Knocking down a dummy no longer gives knockdown, and there is now anti-knockdown farming measures. So grinding knockdown for the limited quests are gonna be a lot harder, so you actually need to fight real players now. And also jolly crates are now more expensive. 
few, that was a lot to unpack, let's now move on to the new emotes. There are currently 15 new emotes, so let's start showcasing every single one of them. I'll be starting with the commons ones up until the new legendary emote. Some of these can be used with friends, and some have some unique properties to them, I'll be putting in what's unique about them in text. So without further ado, let's start. And yeah, that's pretty much everything on the new update, do you like these addition and changes? Feel free to comment down your thoughts below. And as always, I upload one of these every day. So if you want to support me feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Anyways, that's all from me, see you guys on the next one. Peace.